Today is day uh, 61, uh, March 2nd, uh, 2015. Going to read uh, Numbers chapter 23 through 25, Mark chapter 7, verse 14 through 47. 23. And Balaam said unto Balak, Build me here seven altars and prepare me here seven oxen and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had spoken. And Balak and Balaam offered every altar a bullock and a ram. And Balaam said unto Balak, Stand by thy burnt offering, and I will go. Peradventure the Lord will come to meet me. But whatsoever he showeth me, I will tell thee. And he went to an high place. And God met Balaam, and he said unto him, I have prepared seven altars, and I have offered upon every altar a bullock and a ram. And the Lord put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Return unto Balak, and thus thou shalt speak. And he returned unto him, and lo, he stood by his burnt out sacrifice, he and all the princes of Moab. And he took up his parade and said, Balak, the king of Moab, hath brought me from Aram out of the mountains of the east, saying, Come, curse me Jacob and come defy Israel. How shall I curse whom God hath not cursed? Or how shall I defy whom the Lord hath not defied? For from the top of the rocks I see him, and from the hills I behold him. Lo, the people should dwell alone and should not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob and the number of the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous and let my last end be like his. And Balak said unto Balaam, What hast thou done unto me? I took thee to curse mine enemies, and behold, thou hast blessed them altogether. And he answered and said, Must I not take heed to speak that which the Lord should not see them all and curse me from thence. And he brought him unto the field of Zophon, to the top of Pisgah, and built seven altars and offered them a bullock and a ram on every altar. And he said unto Balak, Stand here by the burnt offering while I meet the Lord yonder. And the Lord met Balaam and put a word in his mouth and said, Go again unto Balak and say thus. And when he, had, when he came to him, behold, he stood by his burnt offering and the princes of Moab with him. And Balak said unto him, What hast the Lord spoken? And he took up his parable and said, Rise up, Balak, and hear, hearken unto me, thou son Zippor. God is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Behold, I have received commandment to bless and he hath blessed and I cannot reverse it he hath not beheld iniquity in Jacob neither hath he seen perverseness in Israel the Lord his God is with them and the shout of a king is among them God brought them out of Egypt he had as it were the strength of a unicorn surely there is no enchantment against Jacob neither is there any divination against Israel according to the time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel what had God wrought? Behold, the people should rise up as a great lion and lift up himself as a young lion. He should not lie down until he, until he eat of the prey and drink the blood of the slain. And Balak said unto Balaam, Neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. But Balaam answered and said unto Balak, Told not I thee, saying, All that the Lord speaketh, that I must do. And Balak said unto Balaam, Come, I pray thee, I will bring thee un unto another place. Peradventure it will please God that thou mayest curse me them from thence. And Balak brought Balaam unto the top of the of Peor that looked toward Jeshima. And Balaam said unto Balak, Build me here seven altars and prepare me here seven bullocks and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had said and offered a bullock and a ram on every altar. Chapter 24 and when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he went not as to the other times to seek for enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abiding in his tents, 
according to their tribes, and the Spirit of God came upon him. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, had said, and the man whose eyes are open had said, he had said, which heard the words of God, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. How goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel. As the valleys are they spread forth as gardens by the riverside, as the trees of lime, aloes, which the Lord hath planted, and as cedar trees beside the waters. He had to pour the water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. He should eat up the nations, his enemies, and should break their bones and pierce them through his arrows. He couched, he lay down as a lion, and as a great lion who should stir him up. Blessed is he that blessed thee, and cursed is he that cursed thee. And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam, and he smote his hands together. And Balak said unto Balaam, I call thee to curse mine enemies, and behold, thou hast altogether blessed them these three times. Therefore now flee thou to thy place. I thought to promote thee unto a great honor, but lo, the Lord hath kept thee back from honor. And Balaam said unto Balak, Spake I not also to thy messengers, which thou sentest unto me, saying, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the commandment of the Lord to do either good or bad of my own mind. But what the Lord said, that will I speak. And now, behold, I go unto my people. Come therefore, and I will appetize thee what his people should do to thy people in the latter days. And he took up his parade parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, has said, and the man whose eyes are open has said. He has said, which heard the words of God and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. I should see him, but not now. I should behold him, but not hot now. There should come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. And shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Sheth. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession of his enemies. And Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion. And shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked at Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nation, but his latter end shall be he perished forever. And he looked on the Canaanites and took up his parable and said, Strong is thy dwelling place, and thou puttest thy nest in a rock. Nevertheless, the Canaanites shall be wasted until Asher shall carry thee away captive. And he took up his parable and said, Elias, who shall live when God doth this? And ships shall come from the coast of Chittim and shall afflict Ashar and shall afflict Eber and he also shall perish forever. And Balaam rose up and went and returned to his place. And Balak also went his way. Chapter 25. And Israel abode in Shittim. And the people began to commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab. And they called the people unto the sacrifices of their gods. And the people did eat and bowed down to their gods. And Israel joined himself unto Baal Peor. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take all the heads of the people and hang them up before the Lord against the sun, that the fierce anger of the Lord may be turned away from Israel. And Moses said unto the judges of Israel, Slay ye every one his men that were joined unto Belpior. And behold, one of the children of Israel came and brought unto his brethren a Midianitish woman in the sight of Moses and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel who were weeping before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And when Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest saw it, he rose up from among the congregation and took a javelin in his hand. And he went after the man of Israel into the tent and thrust both of them through, the man of Israel and the woman through her belly. So the plague was stayed from the children of Israel. And those that died in the plague 
were twenty and four thousand. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, had turned my wrath away from the children of Israel, while he was zealous for my sake among them, that I consumed not the children of Israel in my jealousy. Wherefore I say, Behold, I give unto him my covenant of peace, and he shall have it, and his seed after him, even the covenant of an everlasting priesthood, because he was zealous for his God, and made an atonement for the children of Israel. Now the name of the Israelite that was slain, even that was slain with Midianitish woman, was Zimri, the son of Salu, a prince of a chief house among the Simeonites. And the name of the Midianite woman was, that was slain was Cosby, the daughter of Zur. He was head over a people and of a chief house in Midian. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Vex the Midianites and smite them, for they vex you with their wiles, wherewith they have beguiled you with the matter of Peor, and in the matter of Cosby, the daughter of a prince of Midian, their sister, which was slain in the day of the plague of Peor's sake, for Peor's sake. Mark chapter 7, verse 14 through 37. And when he had called all the people unto him, he said unto them, Hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand. There is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him. But the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was entered into the house from the people, his disciple asked him concerning the parable. And he said unto them, Are ye so without understanding also? Do ye not perceive that whatsoever thing from without enter into the man, it cannot defile him? Because it entered not into his heart, but into his belly, and goeth out into the draught, purging all the meats. And he said, That which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man, from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, and all and these evil all these evil things come from within and defile the man. And from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyr and Sidon and entered into the house and would have no man know it, but he could not be hid. For a certain woman whose young daughter had a certain un an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek or Syrophoenician by nation and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, get the dogs under the table, eat of the children's crumbs. And he said unto her, But this saying, Go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out, and the daughter laid upon her bed, upon the bed. And again, departing from the coast of Tyre and Sidon, he came unto the Sea of Galilee, through the midst of the coast of Decapolis. And they bring unto him one that was deaf and had an impediment in his speech. And they beseech him to put his hand upon him. And he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers into his ears. And he did, and he spit and touched his tongue. And looking up to heaven, he sighed and said unto him, Eat for thou, that is, be open. And straightway his ears were open, and the string of his tongue was loosened, and he spake plain. And he changed, and he charged them that they should tell no man. But the more he charged them, so much the more a great deal they published it. And were beyond measure astonished, saying, He hath done all things well. He maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak.